in Levin, domestic fire and domestic disturbance. It's looking like arson. Rentables Rebecca is speechless. Yeah, I'm not sure what to say about it really. In Horsey Coomew, West Auckland, a horror story of horsepower for A-grade property manager Tracy. In the background we can see one of the tenants has snuck up. He's just had his car that never went towed away. And a Campylobacter catastrophe for Inspire property manager Nicola. This is the worst I have ever seen a property. <laughs> It's a glorious midsummer's morning in the San Fran of the South in Vicargo. They've ripped the whole window. But Inspire property manager Nicola is experiencing her darkest day in the business. I have to go and check out a property that someone has trashed. Three tenants had been given a short-term, four-month tenancy. At the one-month inspection, this arrangement was terminated, and from that point on, they stopped paying rent and I've had to wait 90 days to actually get this property back. I've been told that there's flies, it's starting to smell. It's time to go and find out how bad it is. The dwelling itself is upstairs in a sunny, premium quality block of four. Just coming up to the property now. From the road, all seems well and good in the hood. The lawns are mowed and the bins are curbside. OK, so here goes nothing. I'm about to go and see what it's like. Before Nicola sees what it's like... This is worse than what I thought. She can smell what it's like. This is not good. Despite the rudimentary air conditioning on level two. Not good at all. It appears the stories are true and then some. In the rural northwest of Auckland City, A-grade property manager Tracy Lee's at a blue chip address. Very noisy here today. Where cleaners and sundry tradesmen are working up a sanitary storm. We've just taken over this property as a management. Um, three nice young fellas living here, they've moved on, but they do their housework and clean up like young fellas, unfortunately. With a viewing coming up in the very near future, it's all hands and water blasters on deck to get this property sparkling clean and tidy. Ooh! Nearly had a shower. <laughs> but while city boys' messes tend to be small and numerous, country boy messes can be multiple and massive. OK, so we've still got car parts to go. Some very heavy things to lift, um, not girl things to lift. We'll see what's inside. A car engine discarded by the front door isn't necessarily a bad sign. It can indicate highly motivated, industrious individuals. Oh, my God. But not in this case. The kitchen is a write-off. I mean, the fact that it's peeling away here isn't ideal. So I think we're going for... Totally new cabinetry. The house isn't just bearing the scars of a country gent's laissez-faire lifestyle. No, this is laminate wood. Yeah, it's expensive. Tracy finds multiple examples of maintenance not brought to the landlord's attention. Well, it's been disrespected. I mean, the carpet's really dirty. Got screws in the wall. Ripped neck curtains. They've broken this window and tried to glue it. They've had a little bit of water damage. We're desperately trying to get it ready. It's a really nice family home, but it's uh, it'll take a little bit of work to get up to speed. As the clean-up round the property gathers pace, strangely, none of the neighbours have appeared with gumboots and lamingtons to help. Standard procedure in this area. Tracy's about to find out why. Thank goodness for technology. In Invercargill, Inspire property manager Nicola's inspecting a two-bedroom rental. This is not good at all. A stench is pouring out of broken upstairs windows. Nicola can smell it even at ground level. I can actually smell it from here, which is not good at all. Going to need some extra items, I feel. Ever the professional, Nicola's brought her PPE gear. So let's have a look. Oh my God, it's disgusting. Mounting the stairs, Nicola's nose locks onto a fly-blown pile of rubbish. I'm so pleased I didn't have breakfast because it would be here. This is foul. But this is not what oh she God. smelled out the front. That's coming from inside. <coughs> and it's bad. Oh my God, I don't actually know if I want to go any further. Rubbish, destruction, smell. There's flies everywhere. 
Nicola follows the INSPIRE FECAL guidelines. The F-A-E-C-A-L is an acronym. Find, assess, evaluate, collate, adjudicate, leave. Radio, kitchen time. Clearly they don't want to eat. Something in the kitchen sink or stink catches Nicola's watering eye. It's on the verge of getting up and walking out of the house. Oh my God, this is just disgusting. Surely this is where the awful stench is rising from. But Nicola's read the manual back to front many times. There's only one place left to look. Oh, I'm a bit scared about opening the fridge. At Rentables Property Management in Sunny Levin, it's as busy as a burst bee's nest. Property managers Rebecca and her mum Linda have a packed schedule today. We're going to head off to a property. We've been notified by the owner that there was some fire damage done at the property. We're just going to head over there and check out the damage, see how we go. Fire is at once humankind's best friend and its worst enemy. In this case, it's the latter. Word is the blaze was deliberately lit, leaving the tenant in a state of shock. Hopefully the tenant's OK and she's not too upset by it all. It occurred when she wasn't home. The tenant has decided the whole situation is too hot to handle. Nobody wants to be around arson. It's like the tenant is um, looking to move out. She's quite happy to, to see the back of it, I think, after all of this. She's not really wanting to go back. I'm just going to be meeting my mum at the property as well, just to go through the assessment, just to check it over. Okay. Where are we? Oh, wow. Oh, that heat pump will need replacing. Because look at that, it goes right in there. A few minutes more burn time and the landlord could have been looking at a total loss. Again, as the previous dwelling on the site burnt down as well. Rebecca can tell the cost of repairs is going to run into the thousands. We're going to have to get that sorted too, eh? Oh, there's carpet damage as well. We're going to have to get an electrician in, a builder and a carpet guy. Police have been called, haven't they? So now it's just a matter of getting the insurance assessor in to do his bit. Police believe the blaze was deliberately lit by setting fire to a curtain through a partially open but secure window. Ooh, yeah, it's not looking too good. Yeah, that's some decent damage going on there. That's pretty crispy. I mean, we've had other damaging issues as well, damage issues, but fire. I uh, haven't actually come across that before, yeah. This fire has been a shock for tenant, landlord and property manager alike. But back at the Rentables office... Hello, Rentables. A phone call changes everything. At a rural address in the northwest of Auckland, A-grade property manager Tracy Lee is inspecting a property where a group of young males have vacated but left things in a state of disrepair. It's a really nice family home, but it's... Uh take a little bit of work to get up to speed. That's an understatement. The list is long. Something's obviously sat here, rotted the carpet quite badly, or they've had a dehumidifier and never emptied it. Wallpaper is older, it is a little dated, but we're not sure what happened with this one piece. It's all curly, almost as though the window in the bathroom's not been opened. Looks like somebody's had trouble with the lights, pulled that off the wall. Drink spillage. Might have been a party in here, huh? Just untidy, just not been looked after. While the work continues outside, it's obvious to Tracy there's an absence of friendly neighbours with saucy rolls, smiles and gummies. In Kumu, when someone moves out, neighbours have been known to cancel overseas trips in order to help out. As chance would have it, a neighbour shares some previously classified intel. The boys have been naughty. You guys must have been reveling. Burnouts down the road, bonfires. Thank goodness for technology. Round back, the true situation is revealed. The former tenants have been using their property as a makeshift NASCAR complex, complete with pits. This was actually um, a tyre storage warehouse, and um, they've taken all the tyres. It looks like the credits are rolling on Days of Thunder. 
just as one of the ex-tenants, Tom Cruise, is in. In the background, we can see one of the tenants has snuck up. He's just had his car that never went towed away. Now he's got a big pile of stuff. While it's a little too little and a little too late for the ex-tenant, brand new A-grade franchisee owners Lynn and Brendan have arrived in the nick of time. They're all over the northwest, and they're going to be all over this rejuvenation. We're giving it the full A-grade service, and we're going to look for an A-grade family for it. So that's the plan. In Invercargill, Inspire property manager Nicola's life has just passed before her very eyes. After unwisely opening the fridge in a semi-destroyed flat in midsummer. Oh, uh, just as well I didn't have breakfast, I'd lose it. That is totally, totally disgusting. I'm not opening that again. Weeks old butter chicken, rotten pumpkin and what appears to be Kinner sludge have combined to give a nuclear holocaust of putrefaction. Oh my god, how can people live like this? Oh, shit. Oh. No one. Oh, no wonder it stinks. Having tracked down the primary source of infection in this dwelling, Nicola's job now is to catalogue the extensive examples of damage. Holes in that wall. There's a hole in the bathroom. Destruction of the lino. Almost all of it has been caused by implements blunt and sharp. What the hell is he used here? That's by a knife. Nicola can't fathom why these tenants made so many holes in so many walls. Holes in that wall. There's a hole in the bathroom. I have no idea what the hell was happening here. I guess they thought they could cut a hole in the wall and make an attempt to do something. This isn't wear and tear created by a lack of money. This was a three television household, commonly known in property management as a TV3. It's like there's been a knife. That's a TV. Was a TV. Heavy financial losses beckon, but so does the garage. And here I was thinking I was finished, so now we've got the garage to do. Based on the state of the house, the chances of the garage being clean and tidy... Great tagging. ...are zero. Some of this doesn't even need to be um, showing anywhere. While it looks like graffiti, Nicola immediately recognises a form of hieroglyphic, particular to this type of tenancy, and translates. Oh my god, look at this! <laughs> With a housing shortage getting worse by the day, Nicola counts her blessings this is a very rare occurrence. It's going to be off the market for a wee while, and it doesn't need to be off the market. Two bedroom property with a bit of a yard. People want it can't give it to them. I'm going to send all the photos I've taken through to the owner and um, show them how bad it actually is. This is the worst I have ever seen a property. And um, we'll have to start commencing the repairs and getting things sorted. And hopefully we can get the people that live around this area some decent tenants and long-term tenants that will respect the property that they're living in. In Levin, Rentables Rebecca is popping round to her fire-damaged flat. As it's turned out, the fire was deliberate and not lit by a stranger. The ramifications of this are unavoidable and unpleasant for everyone. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the tenant that was at the property and is no longer um, was a good tenant, but she surrounded herself with just the wrong kinds of people. And unfortunately, it, due to it being intentional and arson, uh, will like, will very unlikely rent to her again. The property owners are keen to put the whole thing behind them and move on. Resolution Rebecca hopes the property has been restored to as new condition. Here we are. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Oh, so the curtains are all new. And so they should be. The lucky landlord had to spend seven thousand dollars on these and other chattels. Carpet's new too. Sometimes they patch out to repairs, but it looks like they've just replaced the whole lot, which is really good. They've even replaced the heat pump. I don't think they could get um, parts in to fix the damage that was done, so they've just replaced the whole thing. Got even smells new. Looks like, yeah, they've redone the paint on the, on the lounge as well. 
Whoever did the clean-up job was clearly some kind of magician. Brand new. Yay. In Kumu, northwest of Auckland City, the A-grade property management team has been overhauling an unloved rural property where the ex-tenants spent more time on their cars than they did on the end of a vacuum cleaner. My pony would like this. Kumu's a very horsey area, but has the extra horsepower of the A-grade method been successful? Well, this looks a lot cleaner and tidy around here already. Broken down cars are gone. Smelly skips gone. The rubbish is gone. The house has been washed. Franchisee owner Lynn's here to bask in the glory of a job well done. It just smells fresh and clean, and yet I can't see anything really different yet. The floor's lovely and clean. Oh, he's put a new bench here. Fantastic. The kitchen can now be used as a kitchen, and the living room is a bona fide room for living. The carpet's really clean and dry, and somebody can put a really nice mat down now, and the room smells fine, not musty, which is really important. Ah, and the window's done. The windows are now transparent, and the broken one is whole again, allowing expansive views of a green and gorgeous panorama. It's just such a beautiful vista to look at, it's so nice. The deck's cleaned, new curtains, new nets. The high-octane team of two has supercharged this landlord's investment for some lucky new tenants. It's a photo finish for A-grade property management. Good day's work. <laughs> and most importantly, no more phone calls to you from the neighbours. Uh, yeah. Your tenants are doing burnouts. Again. Tenants are having parties. Well done. Maybe we should have a party. In Invercargill, the weather's taken a turn for the worse. But for Inspire property manager Nicola, her forecast has improved greatly. The two-bedroom unit trashed by a group of badly behaved tenants has been discharged from house hospital. We have had painters in, we have had lino sorted, we've had carpet sorted, we've had a very massive skip um, to dump all the rubbish. And windows repaired, locks changed. Um, new curtains, new nets, so I'm about to go and have a look at it. Nicola's entire life philosophy is based on excellence and going way beyond people's expectations. She needs this restoration to be 110% perfect. Yay! New net curtains, that's a plus. So we'll go and see what the rest of the place looks like. So we've got the new windows being put in that have been smashed. So that's looking very positive to start with. Excellent. Uh, so the two broken windows that were smashed, they've been replaced. So that's awesome. No holes in the walls. It's been all painted. New fresh carpet even smells nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, way better. I love seeing nice white neat curtains. Just makes the property look fresh and clean. They don't call her nothing but Net Nicola for nothing. That's a goal. Yeah, this is so much nicer. And you can see we've even had to replace some doors. Nicola's tradies have done a sensational job, but the former tenant's vandalism spree has come at a significant cost to the landlord. The painting and fixing has been about six grand. Um, the new carpet has been and the lino's been over four grand, upwards of 15 to 20 to fix this property and put it back to a, a livable condition. But I've still got to go and check out the garage, so I'd better go down and make sure our artistic designs are gone. Oh, this is amazing. Gone, saw the tagging, gone. Everything's clean, it's fresh, it looks good. So I'm absolutely stoked with the outcome of this. This is awesome. Yes, my job is done, so I'm just going to make this place nice and secure, and I get the tenant in tomorrow morning. My job is done. Awesome. <laughs>